Hey, what's up guys? It's Nelson here with Gadjax, and today I'm going to be showing you how to extract photos and videos from an iOS backup. So anytime you back up your iPhone on your Mac, a backup folder is created. These same folders are also used to restore your phone. With these backups, you can restore things like photos, videos, contacts, and all that to your iPhone. So on this Mac, I have a very old backup, and from it, I want to extract photos and videos, and that's it. What I could do is I could restore my iPhone with that backup, but I don't want to do that because that means I have to wipe the stuff already on my iPhone. So that's why I'm going to be showing you guys how to extract photos and videos directly from an iPhone backup on your Mac. For this video, you'll need iBackup Viewer. You can find the download link in the article over at Gadgehacks. Once you open the app, you'll see the backups that you have on your Mac. Here I have two. So this is the one I want to extract photos and videos from. So I'm going to hit the arrow and I'm going to go to photos. All right, so here you can see some of the photos in the backup. In total, I have 2,000 photos and 40 videos, almost equal to 6 gigs of memory. So from there, you can individually click on the photos that you want to save, or you can just save all of them. So click on the gear icon and either select save selected or save all. So I'm going to click on save all. And I created a folder in my documents to save all those photos. You don't have to, but it makes it easier. Okay, now I'm done. So I'm going to open up Finder. And I'm going to go into the iPhone photos folder. So it'll create a folder called DCIM. And then inside of that, you'll find several other folders, which will have all of your photos and videos. Here you can see the photos that have been extracted from the backup. There's lots of them. And from there, you can go about deleting the photos that you don't want and keeping the ones that you obviously want to save. All right, well, that's it. Thanks, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and check out the full tutorial over at Gadgex.